Germany as well, where the water plants are mostly still run by the public. According to Veolia, however, they have already in the past 10 years succeeded in finding their way into the supplying of water in 300 communities as a service provider or concessionaire, for example in Brunswick. What was most politically important to me was to secure the future of our city in the interest of our younger citizens. That meant to dismantle the enormous mountain of debt to secure the city's capacity to act and still invest. The largest part, which was also hotly debated, was the actual core of our city utilities, the Brunswick Utilities Company, delivering electricity, water and gas, and we privatized a smaller apartment complex, which profited much more than calculated. We privatized the complete street lighting, including the traffic light installations, like we did the wastewater disposal. We also privatized that to the company Alba. And a few years ago, we almost reached the end mark by taking our biggest step in privatizing the disposal of wastewater. This also brought in just about 100 million euros more. We got a higher sales price for this, 235 million. From this, we paid off a lot, older debts, and so on and so on. This, along with our savings, helped us dismount the burden of debts dazu mitläufen haben, diese große Schuldenlast abzubauen. Die Einnahmen, die die Stadt the proceeds the city claims to have are in actuality to 100% a credit, which the city has to pay back, carried by additional fees year by year for the consumers, meaning the consumers are paying off this credit. Die Bank darf the bank is entitled to a part of the interest, redemption of a loan for a period of 30 years, even if Veolia would cease to exist, that is, bankrupt. Veolia never paid a single cent for the license fee for the complete water management. They were given the right of utilization for nothing, free of charge. The credit that was taken is the means of a stooge, taken by the Wastewater Association Brunswick, a public authority under the control of the city itself. The city's debts are now outsourced to different companies and have to be paid back by the citizens. According to our calculations, the debt, which is now 230 million, will in 30 years have increased to about 500 million, which the citizens then will have to come up with. Here we see a good example of what it looks like with new investments since the privatization of the wastewater industry. According to the sign, this is a high efficiency pump plant for 7.6 million euros. Veolia is not putting up any of its own money, so the city turned to the bank and used our fees in addition to the wastewater credit as security. It is still, however, on paper a private investment by Veolia, even though they have no responsibility for the money towards the credit. The consumer does. Veolia naturally writes this off as a tax deduction, as well as earning 25% of the planning costs on top. In the end, they've earned an additional million, outside of the service contract of the wastewater management. Everything running over credits and everything carried by the fees of the consumers. These are very complicated models. Otherwise, you would never arrive at these sums. Many say it can't be that Veolia is refunded for all of this. But that is the reality. Veolia didn't have to invest any of its own capital in the takeover in Brunswick, and they are still earning with it, not only through the operating recompense, but can also claim the complete costs for furnishings and equipment, everything over the bank credits. The consumers and the city are held accountable. Anyone can make this deal. So these affairs, especially regarding wastewater, are complicated. So complicated that the public in general don't understand. And I have to say, not even everyone on the board of council understands them completely.
This is the problem, by the way, that the councillors never get to see these contracts in full. They can look at them, but are not allowed to make copies. It is very unusual for us to have access to this compact disc containing the contracts. It was secretly given to us by someone in the administration. 